like yourself, you know, kind of bringing the film and television aspect into other areas of, of just, um, you know, opportunities for black young, young men and women. I, I just think it's awesome. So, um, but Mr. Joshua, I want you to go ahead and just tell us a little bit about um, why you're here. Well, I'm here because I want to try to promote scouting in a positive way in, in the film industry, because mm -hmm. I've noticed throughout the years of me being a scout lead, I noticed I've seen so many talented young boys, African-American males, females, parents, all those sorts of, all sorts of people. And mm -hmm. it was very enthusiasm. And I came up with this concept during the uh, pandemic when we started in 2020. I was trying to maintain communication with my scouts and trying to keep tip families together because it was a trying time mm -hmm. and everybody just kept watching films all the time. So it hit me and I said, hey, since they're all together, why don't they just come up with an idea of making a film? I mean, right. they have the technologies mm -hmm. advanced now because they don't get 4K on their phones. It's not like when I was young when you didn't have access to those kind of technologies. Oh, we were just talking about the internet yes. earlier, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, AOL holiday. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's, it's really a great opportunity for them to test their skills. So I started the film festival in the 2020. It was virtual, we couldn't meet in person. Hmm. But we had like 10 submission of films, or short films, and they were mind blowing. I mean, oh, these wow. kids were very, very talented. And I was really impressed with the parents, how they kept engaged and kept them focused on it and kept them on their duties. And it was a very moving kind of situation. And it was like, wow, I can go more with this. Right. So then I decided what to do to award them then. Because I know usually film festivals, they just give out some plaques and stuff like that. So I wanted to make it feel like they were actually going to walk down the aisle of the red carpet of the Oscars. So I came up with the Oscar trophies and right. gave them opportunity to test their skills, not just doing film, but in acting, as a screenwriter, as a director, mm -hmm. producer, and also giving people opportunity to test and judge to see if their films are great. And I came across a couple of my colleagues from Savannah State University who are actually in the industry in film, and some people from DFAS, mm -hmm. and actually it's, I think it's be called um, mm -hmm. Something else is a different kind of company, but it's ran by different people, and then Nicole Pringles, one of them. And um, I came up to them and I said, "Hey, how about you guys take a look at these films and judge them, see how they how they measure up to the industry and everything. That way, you give good positive feedback." Gotcha. And, yeah, yeah. And then I came across this site where you can actually make film festivals. It was a couple from one of my friends, Kareem, called Film Freeway, mm -hmm. where you could submit, you create your own film festival through it, and give people opportunities to submit films through it, whatever you want to accept it or not. And then you find people want to judge it, and they go in there and they put in their ranks of whether they like the oh, film. Oh, so they can vote. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. And they so can you're vote. actually able to get audience participation for this film festival, and right. you guys have only been doing this in the past two years. Oh, yes, past two years, yeah. It was it was a tough, tough time, but I was pushing forward because I've seen so many parents come up to me and say, Mr. Cropper, I love what you're doing with this program with these kids. You give them opportunities to test their skills. It turns out some of them even want to be in the industry themselves. And some oh, kids wow. came to me nice. and said, I really want to take an opportunity to be an actor. I said, okay, oh, hey, this is a really good opportunity. I mean, they found a gift that they didn't know about. Some kids right. like, I really want to be behind the scenes because I feel like I got a talent with special effects and holding cameras, tripods, and stuff like that. So yeah. And not to mention it was part of one of the requirements. I and mean, there's a merit badge where you earn called movie making, where it teaches them opportunities, how to use a tripod, visit a facility that does filmmaking, and also get a chance to write a script and just produce it in front of it. I'm like, hey. So you say um we say scouting, just making sure we're talking about boy scouting. Well, because I heard scouting and I thought yeah. like scouting for talent since no. there's a film festival. No, no, but we're not true. talking about no, scouting we're talking for talent. About boy scouts. Yes, boy scouts. Yes. Oh, I was a Girl <laughs> Scout growing up. Oh, yes. Really? Yes. I was like, have my little, oh. on my honor, I will try to serve God and my country and then some other stuff. That's like oh, all I remember. Served. But yes, I, I remember. You know, I used to think that was military when I was a kid. You thought, like, you I thought, thought, you thought the scouts was a. I did. I was. I mean, I mean, there is a service to God, country. Other yes. people, and then remembering that you're actually I mean, scout yeah, y'all had those uniforms and everything. We did. I'm you did sorry. learn badges, kind of yeah. like I guess how you earn ranks. You did move through yeah. a chain, and people yeah. went up. Here's my thing, yo. Y'all got. Is there a way we can outdo the girls with the scout cooking? Because they kill it with the uh, cookies, bro. Yeah, what like, is not to I, mention, I mean, y'all do popcorn, right? Yeah, y'all do popcorn. Yeah, we right? do popcorn. We yeah, popcorn. yeah, yeah. We but Girl Scout cookies, they be. Yeah, they go toward it. I agree with that. Boy Scouts need something. They need to get the game with that. I was like, at my job, there'll be like a little Girl Scout coming down with a wagon and just yeah. telling us. I was like, no, you kid got to talk to me. You can't stand <laughs> on you. you know? yeah. Or they send emails out. They're yeah. like, please support my kid. It'd be on the, yeah. You got parents buying this stuff and for the extra money. Yeah. Just to get their kids. I mean, are the prizes what? like that amazing? 
It's I mean, they're trips. It's I remember because like, my boy, my my yeah, brother like was in the Boy Scouts, and they used to make these like these like wooden cars to mm. like race down the tracks and stuff Soapbox like that. Derby cars. Is that what it's called? Yep. Is that still like a thing? It probably is. We still do soapbox. I'm sure they do soapbox. Yeah, I would soapbox love to soapbox. go see like something like that. I mean, obviously it's pandemic, right? So we're getting back into that yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, so are you guys moving to doing some of the events like more in person? I know you say they get to do the film festival. They have a red carpet experience. So was that the first time everyone got to see each other in person, or are y'all waiting to take it to that next level? Oh, we're still we're meeting back in person right now. We're doing everything we can. It's just the film festival is just one of my love and fascination because i want to want to be a filmmaker and i mm. love scouting very much so i want to incorporate both parties into one mm -hmm. and I discover so much talent within these scouts i'm like it was just amazing and i really want to reach out to folks who are in the industry those who do this for a living get an opportunity to come by and visit the scouts even come by the film festival and just to see how much impact for these kids are what level they at and give some advice so what they need to do to better themselves how to push further in their talents and what they need to do and what ideas and workshops they can go to. I just want to open the range up for that. DJ, you're the Yeah, so yeah. I was like, so yeah, I see really on the flyer good. that you gave us Take Saturday, down. Sorry, December down. 17th, Seriously. you all are going to be having the film festival. So literally it hasn't happened this year. It's coming up. So if people want to participate, they can anyone just come or is there like a membership or how do you get involved if you'd love to be able to see the film festival? Well, I really want to reach out to folks who are in the industry to come by because I want Damn, to wow. get a lot of people to come in so that way they can greet so that people can motivate and prove, give something to the kids and stuff like yeah. that. Okay. So if you wanted to join, all you have to go to our Facebook page, Scott Reach Film Festival, mm -hmm. and then you there click you join. I check your background, making sure that you're good and everything and mm -hmm. all what you want to offer the program, then I accept you in, then you click on the link to register, and then you okay. just state if you're submitting a film or are you a scouter or you're an adult so that way we know where you stand and everything. right how how what kind of involvement you could bring it again you said that's right. on facebook scout reach film festival scout, scout reach, reach film, film festival. festival right on facebook right and it's you know they just submit if they're interested register and then they kind of walk them through the process from there that's right because okay. I will because I always care about safety and scouting because that's Absolutely. pretty much our priority and, Absolutely. Like that. That and I always I do welcome people to come and everything but we are going to do a facebook live through the through the site, so if you can't make it, you can see it through it, so you can see the process for yourself. Oh, that'll be nice. There we go. Well, I'm curious. So it was like December is the big festival. It's the red carpet event, um, the program, and all of that. How long is the process kind of leading up to all of this? How long does it take to put something like this together? Well, for me, it takes depends on a couple of things. One is who is assisting you with this kind of program. Mm. Second is are the films submitted in. Because mm -hmm. I usually give them a year to work on films because wow yeah because it oh takes these some are time. like legit yeah, yeah. yeah. like I'm yeah. saying the odds probably like three months maybe it's a couple mm -hmm. weeks no. like they have a whole have year yeah I give them a whole films. year and I give them steps mm -hmm. how to make films because not everybody will have access to these kind of equipment special like tripod and everything so okay. I teach them some trick ways how they can shoot a film for example if you didn't have an audio equipment mm -hmm. and you're trying to shoot something with no hits all you got to do is stop what you're doing take a moment and just listen. Mm -hmm. And anything you hear, you shut off. Whether it is just your microwave going on, your AC, the TV going, somebody out there, you shut it all down, and then you just shoot it while it's peace and quiet. That's how you can pretty much cheat with the audio. Okay. And as far as lighting goes away, it you use the main light, so it's like the sun. Because see, there's three. There's, when you see filmmakers when they're shooting, when they go early in the morning, is they do it early in the morning because they don't want the sun above them because it creates mm -hmm. too much shadow, shadow and all that stuff yeah. and it makes actors sweat. Absolutely. So they always try to shoot at sunrise and sunset. Mm -hmm. So I always give them say, if you want to shoot, do sunrise, shoot it when it's about to get dark or shoot it when the sun's about to rise. So that way it's perfect lighting because it's balanced. Mm -hmm. And then and also, the maximize lighting because the earlier you start right. shooting, the more sunlight you're going to have. And once the sun goes down, well, that's it. The show, you know, we're shooting is over. <laughs> Right. Unless you got the artificial lights, which right, yeah, you money. use lamp, yeah, you can use lamps and all this stuff. So and it's people got the light. ring lights and stuff like that now. Yeah. So they, you're right, they definitely. Man, these kids got so much technology well, on here. It's crazy now. It's not like when we were kids. And stuff now. Exactly. Like it's really not when we were kids. When we were kids, yeah. I mean, yeah, we had a creative mind, but now it's just like everything's at the palm of their hands. Like these kids can make motion pictures. Like that. With the phone. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes. And all they gotta do is have the proper. Yeah. It's huh. it's beautiful. It's beautiful. What is the cold? Do I know her? 
Nicole Pringle. Yeah, uh, she, Nicole Pringle. I know her. Uh, she's an actress, and she's a good friend of mine. We met a couple of years ago, and okay. she's pretty much part of the talent agency. She recently did a film yeah, called, I think, about, about Santa, about them thinking about the actually killing down Santa Claus. So she tries to cover it up while the family is trying to come together. It's on. It's on. Um, on uh, Amazon Prime and on also. I believe it's on, yeah, Amazon Prime and yeah, also. Other sites. I don't remember what I had her on for then. Oh, yeah, okay. but she's a it's fantastic kind of actress and she will be present at the location to teach the kids go. about what you need to do okay. to prep themselves and stuff. Okay. And so, in the year time, year's time that they have to put this together, are there any programs as far as like training goes? Because I know you're giving them like tips and tricks. You mentioned Nicole. So, is she kind of like helping with maybe like the acting side or? How can industry professionals get involved? What well, do you need? Well, I like to sell a workshop. So okay. that way they can come by and teach. Whether mm -hmm. we can do it at council or we can do it at other locations like the universities like Georgia State or Clark Atlanta. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to Clark Atlanta, uh -oh. my HBCU. Yeah, <laughs> you players, how you doing? Yes. That was yes, your magic word. Like that. Yes. Uh, yeah. I think so, I just heard yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> basically any area that could open up to help kids give these kids opportunity in technology and plus. It would be good for my older scouts who's in troop to work on their merit badge movie maker because it requires them to go to these facilities to learn how to use a tripod, know right. how to dolly up, how to pan, how to use certain light and difference, and also how to use um, TV. Mm. I'll tell you what, I know when I was a scout, I didn't have movie making in my scout list. Definitely no. didn't. It was not a merit badge. I had every merit badge I could get. I yeah. loved it. Oh, you were trying scout. to be oh, a lady, scout. my brother. Oh, you made it to Eagle. I'm brownie. I just was like a what? Like a, he was like, like a brown belt, like a brown belt. Yeah, like if for, it was a black belt, uh, then you was a brown belt. belt. That's yeah, what he was that's saying. That's for me. Right. And then he said he made it to Eagle Scout, which I, I knew that was like higher up. That's awesome. What yeah. what levels are before Eagle Scout? There's all of them. I can tell you all the stuff. He's like he knows. Because I'm an Eagle Scout myself. So it's a scout that is tenderfoot and second class and first class. This is why you thought it was military. I told you. Life. And then eagle. See, yeah. Scotty is a little bit like military. Oh, so you're legit. Went to the here's the, here's the cool. thing. Like I'm sitting there, like eagle is like, like the, the yellow belt. Like it's just not that. You know. Right. You know and I'm even at eagle, the first up. thing I had when I hit eagle scout, I was introduced to the military. My scout leader said, "Hey, you're like, listen, you made it this hey, you far. Made the this next you are ready for this." And when I went into the military, basic wow. training was cake. Really? Really? I already knew. The basics of the survival skills. I already knew the basics of what you had to do to. To yeah. listen, right. obey, obedient, chain of command. I already knew all that stuff in the Boy Scouts. Gotcha. Wow. I soared through. I feel like I didn't wow. learn nearly enough from my brother being a Boy Scout. All literally, all I remember is those wooden cars. Uh, we would just. <laughs> the thing for us was we saw them, but we didn't have them in our in like where I was. Like you mean like in school? No, no. I, knew, I mean I like knew just in our like neighborhood. Like, like I saw cat, kids with Boy like Scouts, but it okay. was like. We knew Girl Scouts more than we knew of Boy Scouts because we just oh. saw the uniforms, but we didn't like nobody came to us was like then we didn't get recruited. You didn't get recruited. Yeah. <laughs> so, so at, I, like so like the military too. Right. Think about the military. Do you see the military all the time? No, but, you no, know they're there. but they you be, know there's there? recruitment at the school though. Yeah. I know, but think about it. He'll tell you too. Why don't Boy Scouts do more things in public like right. Girl Scouts? Yeah, you know I mean? yeah. Why? Because well, we're out learning things. Well, technically, we do. It's just it's yeah. not advertised that much. But yeah. we do help out the communities. We help out as much as the Girl Scouts are doing. And trust me, yeah. we're coming back. The pandemic did teach us about learning to bond. Because being isolated for so long, mm -hmm. it makes you lose touch of humanity. But scouting yeah. helps restore that. And it gets them closer and closer together. And we saw a high grade of numbers of scouts getting involved in the program ever since the pandemic ended. And it's you know we're still recovering from it. It's really coming back for us, and it's really positive. I see them, and they well, really I want think, to take it further. Now, I what's the is, age? This is something that's going to definitely help, though. Yeah, what I mean, age awesome can idea. a boy get started in the Boy Scouts? Like, is there an age where you're too old to join or too young to join? For if you're like, a, it starts from 11 to 8, 17. Okay. And for Cub Scouting, it's from five years oh, old that's right, to that's 10. Cub Scouts. Uh, the little kids one. Oh, that's so now, cute. The I didn't get to be a Cub Scout. So you you came in when you were like after eleven. Twelve. Twelve. Okay. That's still yeah. after eleven days. Yeah, I mean, so. <laughs> he's like, what you know, it's twelve. Yeah, it's twelve. Look, yeah. like, he was like, I was grown. <laughs> twelve. I made that choice. <laughs> I mean, it is a choice. It is, it's definitely a choice. It's, right. it's a big change. You're twelve years old. Like, Boy Scouts don't get that cool notion. Mm. True. You know, 
You're not out causing trouble. Out. You're doing good things. The only like reason I'm saying that is that I know when I, I now that I'm 40, <laughs> I look back like, God dang, I wish I knew how to do this. <laughs> I could use this right now. It's a like, real life. Yeah, thing. like it's if this life. go down, I need to know that. Like, it's, and you look back, you're like, dang, I used to be like, man, stuff. I built my own. It's I'm building my own though. deck right now. I have five people in my call deck. All of them came over and said, "You know, how lucky you are to know how to do that." Not lucky. I made a choice. Yes, hmm. but that's what. And like I, you that's said, a, like actual life that skills are. that are transferable on, that'll help you grow, that you're going to be able to right. use like down the line. An explanation and for like, why you so make funny those because I was like, from a female perspective, since I'm the only one up here, um, there are a lot of women who look at men now who can't do those things. Yeah. Like, you can't change light bulbs. You can't fix things that go wrong in the house. You you don't know how to do, like, landscaping or things outside mm -hmm. of that. We are hiring people to do all of these kind of hands-on skills, handyman skills, yeah. right? Or life skills. So it's mm -hmm. it's refreshing to know that there is a place to go for young men to be able to get something that is viable, resourceful, and something that they'll be able to take on into every facet of their now. life going forward. Yeah. I, I feel like I feel like um, th these these type of uh, abilities uh, for our children are important because now everything's so much phones electronic to the point where mm -hmm. people don't do it. Oh my god! I mean, and and I, and I mean, I just seen that today in adults like. At, you know, working today, and it was just like people getting mad about stuff. I'm like, are you you really getting mad about that? Oh, y'all, this yo, this culture is getting spoiled, yo. Like, I feel like it's getting spoiled to a point where they we we start losing the necessities of like the importance of just the little things. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. it's crazy. But Josh, hey, don't you feel like in the boy in the Boy Scouts, the cool thing was not learning how to do things, but learning why you need to know how to do that. It wasn't just like, hey, this is step A, this is step B. When you got to step A, they told you why you're doing step A and other options to step A. You learned the whys and the hows. Right. It's, it's all about the edge method. It's something that we teach in scouting to help kids to actually lead and to take charge. See, the thing is, if you tell them something and you don't demonstrate it, they're not going to listen. Right. See, the edge method starts off explaining the situation to the scouts and why you got to do these certain things. Then you demonstrate it by acting what you're speaking you got to practice what you preach you got to right. teach them and stuff like that yeah and then you pretty much guide them while you after the demonstration after they see what you got to do you guide them through it and okay. through it they're going to fall they're yeah. going to hit times where it's going to be too tough for them but That's you push true. them through and push uh -huh. them through and you got to let them sometimes go on and on and push and then when you get to the last part which is enable you let them go you let them lead Mm, enable them to be okay yeah exactly you yeah. see it's a process it starts teach them how to fish. Fish. exactly if you teach them how to fish they'll never be hungry that's right mm -hmm. see it's a process of that thing and that's right. what makes scouting great i really like forward. that that's right you know what i think home? makes it great 47 years ago uh -huh. i had the edge too hmm. it hasn't changed it, do it doesn't need to edge is like edge those is are what principles you, every that man, will always be applicable yeah every boy needs an edge mm -hmm. and if you use those four letters Make a man out of it. I think I get what y'all saying. So when I get home and leave my son outside for like what? 24 hours. What, it, what are you hearing? Just in the backyard. No one is saying. Gotta, just let him survive. You, know? <laughs> you want to see what he's going to do? Just go see. You Josh, know you please know help him. He's turning into Jeremy. Your baby is not. <laughs> what? Your baby um, is not equipped for these kinds it's of things. It's gated so he can't go nowhere. You but know what I'm saying? It's has he been educated yet? Come on. Have I you demonstrated how to survive outside? Dallas is pretty technology. There's no S and edge. Survival isn't part of the, Thank edge, you. the edge teaching method. We need to add that there. There's no S and edge. And this is at the end, edges. Mm -hmm. You need edges it is. so you can survive. See? Yeah. You can't just There's throw them S out there. The what the was the, the first E in so, edge, DJ? Let's do a little test here. What was the first E? Education. Education. Explain. 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 You're close. <laughs> it wasn't easy. What was the second? What was the B? Determination. Oh no. Joshua, we we need we. Yeah. Need, huh? What was it said again? Can we make an exception and make some honorary Boy Scout there? for a week? They both started. Hey, right, everybody can learn. Like I said, everybody can become <laughs> a scout. He yes. needs an edge for a month. What? Anybody? Uh, anybody? What does he stand for? Huh? He growth. Said, he said huh? everyone can learn. Everybody's got growth in there somewhere. Guys. guys no. There's guys. no growth. 
It was not growth. What was the G, Josh? Guy. Guy. Oh. I am. I what am. was the last E? You got to get one right. Oh, expertise. Huh? Enable. Enable. Over four. Well, hey. What was the first E? Yeah, I can't be perfect, huh? <laughs> what was the first E? He'll say the same. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> no worries. These are why actors get scripts. Except. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't. I can't. Uh, Josh, is there help? Uh, is there a help for him when he's upset? Because the program ended at 17. Oh, yeah, my God. Your it doesn't yeah. end at no, 17. Wait. You can no, still put no. T1 Scout. Hey, you adult. can always yeah, believe. You can, you can't call they got a uniform big enough. You can't call him in. Now. I would love to see you in honorary scout uniform. Oh, there's an honorary scout. Do you know what kids would do? Kids would jump all over him. If it's t-shirt and jeans, I'm in. Those are the volunteers. It's top. Those are the volunteers, though? That's the one I told you, you just Hey, there's 10 minutes left, Josh. If you don't mention your brother, you know it's going to be hell oh, man. So, yeah. Why don't you go ahead and say well, something? Jeremy, well, Jeremy will be there to help assist with the judging because he did it last year. He was helping out kids, teaching them what he does and everything he can do to help incorporate into the program. And he is very, very, he used to be a scout himself. Yeah. He started out scouting. That's why I got started in scouting because mm -hmm. how I got started was basically he and his team went bowling. And I wanted to go. And my parents said I couldn't because I wasn't a scout. I signed up the next day. Wow. So in a way, Jerry kind of pushed like, me. That's home, you boy. I want to bowl. Like, yeah. So before, before we wrap up, I see, I think, what is a badge right here. Tell me a little bit about what you brought in. Oh, that's a scout patch. It's a patch I got started this year. I created it myself and designed it. Oh, it's I got a film that. festival Hold patch for it. Awesome. Yeah, that's that's see, I, I could never get that. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's a brand new patch. That wasn't a lot. That oh, wasn't oh, around oh, when oh, I was yeah. around. Hey, that's a film festival patch. It's pretty much where I get oh, out to scouts. Hey, hey, congratulations, man. That is, man. That is commendable. You got your own scout like, badge. That, that's that's awesome, awesome, Josh. And I was like, and it sounds like being a scout is what helped you be able to create something like this like seeing a need filling a void and not just That's leaving so it as okay we just kind of got a festival there's kind of like a side project but allowing it to still be part of the program they get the badge they get to work towards movie making like bringing all of that around full circle now was movie making already a badge before you got involved that was after? already there okay it already that already it's just that helps them get some more engaged into the program gotcha. Gotcha. and also creates competition see who can do best see that's the competition right. is what brings the best out of everyone yeah and that's why i push with this film festival to push them there and get them better some people want to win some people want to lose but the best thing about it is it teaches them to always respect those who win and always honor when you win so that way you won't be spoiled and upset if you don't win see because it's, it's breaking the trend of that's making the sport and stuff like that so it's a a very deep deep program so that's I, something i, I, I believe love so really much push. of what you're saying because mm -hmm. it feels like so much of this is lost and kind of pushed right. out of like the school system mm -hmm. and the way that we're kind of teaching society to engage mm -hmm. and to know that there's a foundation that still says so you are going to lose right but what do you do with it right right and teaching people to be able to handle that. Because I feel like a lot of these things go wrong because they're not equipped to handle the loss. Right. Even though it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. I don't know why you we keep trying to make people soft like your school did. I want to make sure that we are working towards making sure that we are building people who are balanced. Anyway, hey, man, you got another pie. Hey, here we go. <laughs> Give me your top five favorite movies. Uh, oh, I get it. Okay, I can help you out with that. Okay. Uh, my you. first, my first one is my favorite one, Terminator Two: okay. Judgment Day by James Cameron, my favorite director. Okay. Then I got Captain America with the Winter Soldier. The Russell Good Brothers one. did really great. Third is Jaws by Steven Spielberg. Go ahead, Spielberg. baby. Right. 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 Then he got the the prequels of the Star Wars by George Lucas. Well, actually, one through six is so hard to choose. He's a genius. Yeah, he's a genius mm -hmm. whatsoever. Not the remake. Right. Not and my fifth one is uh, Captain America Civil War. Oh. Because okay. it kind of addresses about, even though you have different, different point of views, how you believe in things, you still got to come together and despite differences. So it's a really impactful movie. Very, That's a very good impactful. one. So, That's a good one. And, and it's films like that I really love pushing for it. That's why I love scouting because some of those things push me into the process, stuff like that. And one of the people always used to call me was Cap. He said, Why you call you Cap? Because if you look at the uh, scout symbol of the of the of the count council and or the scouting, you'll notice there's a shield. Mm. Oh wow. The shield. <laughs> and it's Captain America's first original shield. Huh. Did you know this? 
Negative. Yeah, even <laughs> even uh, Russ, Chris, Evans himself, Chris Evans himself. Chris Evans himself. When he played Captain America, he based it off the of Eagle Scout. He said that character. So all the time okay. watching Captain America in the wow. film, he's you actually based off an of Eagle that's Scout. So well, look at you. you ain't even know you that's had Captain so America. Dope, Things right? have changed, man. For, I mean, it took forever for Captain America to finally come, finally come to the silver screen, and to know I had no idea that it was actually based off and inspired by. Right? Yeah, yes, guys. Gotcha, I got a question. Yeah. Can, do you have a radio badge? Uh, radio badge? Yes, it's a radio merit badge. See, it was no radio merit badge when I played. Mm-hmm. You don't think I would have had what? that? You had all these badges. Wait, you inspired well, them. No, I did not inspire them. And mold them to could I, do hey, it. Could I inspire it's them? It's people like you who so made them create I want to get involved. I want to get involved yes. for radio yes, merit yes, badge. Yes, yes, you can. I will give them time on the radio. Oh, I will that. donate time on the radio. Oh, oh, you know, we love that. Radio yeah, yeah, love that. You can be oh, yeah, you heard it here love first. That. They really, really I love totally right. want to do that. Recorded. I'm a little, you know, what, I'm a little jealous with this. They, they, got they all got these new badges. I mean, you have got a badge. You might, you might want to see where else you can fit in, because you know. Hey, when your badge, when you first got your badges, were they metal things that went on your belt? Uh, no, do you remember that was Cub Scouting. Do you remember? Okay, that was Cub Scouts. Right. So when I was in Boy Scouts, the first ones came out. With those little slides, same as Cub Scouts, I guess, that went on here. Belt loops. Okay, belt loops. There you go. Yeah, they still do that. <laughs> Don't act like it was that long ago, Josh. I mean, so where do the be. badges go? Because for Girl Scouts, yeah. we had a, a sash. sash. Yeah. Same thing. Oh, it's yeah, the same thing. Okay. Yeah. We it's don't call it a thing. sash, though. It's called a. It's called a sash. <laughs> no, it's not. It was not a call. So thing. back in his day, <laughs> back in his day, it was called hash. His troop is something a little different. That's what it's called. Okay, back in your day, huh? It's right. called hash. He's like, he's like, it's like it's still a sash. Yeah, hash it's on. Definitely All not a hash. hash. Not a hash. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's hash proud. Hash. Of hash. Hashtag sash. Hey, when you put your yeah, sash on, you, are you proud? Oh, I'm always proud. Yeah. Well, as soon as I put my sash on, I feel like a different person. I know my, co- I know, I remember everything. Is there a certain did. level of confidence that comes from? Well, they're not, let's put it this way. Do you get badges for free? Are there participation badges? No. No, you got to work for that. Yeah, if you, you don't, it. if you don't earn it, you don't get it. Start I, I over. wouldn't know. I had badges on my sash. Right, but I mean, I like, you went after a badge, you didn't like, get that's it. That's like Kobe, J- Michael Jordan type talk. Like, I, I don't know what they was doing, but I win it. <laughs> 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 like, damn, Casey. <Kenzie. laughs> you know you go hard in the bag. But it's so true. Like, I was like, it's so funny because I was like, I didn't think about, like, how these things are, like, the intersectionality. Because mm-hmm. even being a brownie and being a Girl Scout, I used to see the people that did nothing or did not achieve. And I was like, why are you here? See? And I bet you're not on. achieving now, too. Right, I was like, you know, and I was like, you know, I got a badge again? because I earned it. I bet it you're not achieving like, now either. Oh, you know what I, mean? like, I thought like you said they kicked them out. I was like, what? You get booted? Yes. You get, hey, you can definitely get kicked out of the boys' guy. I, I, I don't understand participation trophies. Like, even for him to be part of the bowling league, what? he had to sign up and yeah. do something. So you mean tell me it's different participate? You get a trophy? No. Y'all don't want to win shit then. I'm sorry, excuse me. Because I don't feel like you were respected that I want. That's how children's athletics are now. Like, they're like, we're so glad you participated. I was like, you might as well just give them bottles of water. We used to hate that. That's your participation. Oh, I don't have any of my participation trophies. You know how many I got? (laughs) Not one. (laughs) Cause we actually was winning. I was so proud of my son. We went to this cheer competition, right? My granddaughter cheer. My granddaughter cheerleader. Granddaughter. All right. They came in last and they got this award, right? <coughs> and he comes over and everybody's hugging him. He goes, let me see that thing. He took it, brought it back, brought it back. See? Gave it back to the people. He's out now. She's not getting an award for last. And my granddaughter's crying. I dap her. So yeah. proud of you. It's okay to lose. Let me tell you something. I played. And I, I learned coached, that in the Boy Scouts. I coached at a, a basketball tournament. It was my first time ever coaching. I won the whole thing with my team. I didn't even take the trophy. Why? Because they won it. All I did was sit there and call time out. Time out. I was Bill Jackson that whole that whole <laughs> tournament. Like, yeah. <laughs> time out. Yo, you good? <laughs> Man, we was blowing them. I niggas. believe him. I believe him. I was just sitting there like, okay. Oh, you Talk didn't to each other. Yeah. Coach because your yeah. team was already they good. needed a coach so they could get in the tournament. I was like, well, I got y'all. So they knew they were good. They just pointed. Boy, well, I brought the point. hood to this. Boy, well, I brought the hood to the spot. I remember it like, like it was yesterday. Brought them to the spot. Clearly. And they cleaned house. My best friend, he had his team on the other side. They, they, I mean, they was doing good. They made it uh, to the playoffs. That was cute. We won it. <laughs> uh-huh. 
And then I just left oh, the trophy. Wow. I still ain't picked up to this day. I'm like, no, it's not fake. It was cute. It was cute. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah. My best friend got there. It was cute. It wasn't accomplished, but it was cute. But it was great. It was great. We're going to do a shout out. Three minutes. Yeah. Yeah. So before we wrap up, Josh, yes. we would really love for you to talk to the people. Um, we already talked about the Facebook page, but give that a shout out one more time. Mm -hmm. um, and when is the event for them to tune in to do the Facebook Live to check out the festival? All right. I want to thank y'all again for having me here. Uh, you can check me out at scottreachfilmfestivals.com. I mean, I mean, Scott Reach, the Facebook page, the Scott Reach Film Festival. And you can just join in and I'll accept you in and then I'll give you the link so you can pop in. And it's going to begin around 1 p.m. during the red carpet. So it's going to be the Facebook Live. So if you do come, it's pretty from early around 1230. So we can get you all registered in. So that way we can check you in and everything. And please dress appropriately because this is a business casual and okay. scouting event. So we want to treat everybody with respect. We want to make this high quality and we want to make it a, a very important experience for the scouts. I love yes. that there's a dress code and dress That's code. Right. Will be All you young short. girls keep That's the booty shorts home. Well. I was like them do rags. You know, I, I just heard about that today. Huh? Just heard about I'm dead serious. I mean, Gosh. I know I'm joking, but I just heard about today. The These yeah. young kids is going to school With wearing like shorts booty on. shorts and thongs. Yep. What? It's re yo, I just heard about it. Teacher yeah. was telling me about it at my job. Like, that's man. all they're wearing, or you mean no, they're coming in the class like summer clothes, but it's looking like grown stuff they've seen on the videos. There's thongs up the top, and booty shirts. It's in the crazy, bottom. it's bad, it's really bad. Uh -uh. Uh -uh. We're not even gonna die. So, we got to show we're gonna continue to. Yeah. I'm sorry, I, I'm sorry, I that. that was my fault. Um, I'm but good. I did want to ask my last question to you. Be respectful. You talked about this is the this will now be the third year, the third, the the third, third year, so this is third annual. Will any of the previous winners be able to come back at all? Will we hear back from any of them? Oh, yes. They're going to be helping assist in passing that. out the trophies. So oh, those who won it. those categories will come back. She's coming that. now. That was just the show for I was like, I just wanted to say, listen, who won last year? Let's mm -hmm. talk about it. I want to do some interviews. Yeah, so that way it yeah. helps them um, make feel great. Because if you watch the Oscars, the folks who won last year, they come back and they're the one presenting the And they the present award. to the... So that way it makes it feel better. Like repeat. So Keisha, mm -hmm. let me go there's out a little like here. Mm -hmm. How about there's three winners, winners, right? Four -time winner. mm -hmm. How about you bring the, the three winners to your show? Okay. I think that was I dope. I would, love, I would love to interview Can the winners. Can we get the three winners to come to their show? Fridays at 8.30? Yeah, yeah, like, there's going to be a third winner. Can we get the first two winners to come before this happens? We could try. We could try to reach out. And they can bring their parents, you know. Yeah, we always got to get permission from the parents. Yeah, and tell the parents they can come. You guys can interview them and ask them how they did. That'd be tight. They do like Mario Lopez and them. That would be so cool. That would be so cool. That'd be dope. Love that. Hey, man, let's make it happen. He's quad backstage. Yes, yes. Backstage look at the Scout Week Film Festival. Previous winners. I love it. Well, listen, it. we want to thank Carl. We want to thank Josh. We want to thank uh, you guys for coming on to the show. Uh, thank you guys for uh, just sharing uh, everything with us. And you guys, please go support uh, Go support these uh, great black um, gentlemen um, and everybody who's involved. That's oh, awesome. and your production company. Yes. Did you want to say anything about your production company? Uh, JC Productions 25 mm -hmm. is a company I created years ago, and it was something I want to push for Atlanta. But I'm also using the platform I learned to help these kids and get better themselves and all this stuff. That's what I'm talking about. Each one, teach one. That is. Reach one. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I have a teacher. But listen, yo, it is unfortunately Edgy. time for us to go. But once again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in to us. You can catch us every Friday, 8:30 at BFM 109.6. Uh, you want to tell them how they can contact us? B Squad Backstage on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can also check us out on Facebook. What They Don't Tell You podcast or WTDTY Global, which is also the email address for y'all who like to kick it old school, WTDTY Global, right there on the sign. Yeah. All right. Just start talking. And right of now. course, there's still YouTube. Yeah, you can do that. YouTube. Uh, that's WTDT, uh, WTDTY Global. Yeah, one Damn. Almost, Wait, I almost had so it. WTDTY Global. You're getting the initials for our very own podcast. Well, hey, life happens. <laughs> But uh, once again, thank you for joining us. Yeah. Uh, we you know, we gotta go, y'all. All we right, it's we, Friday. And by the way, we are gonna keep minding our business here on what they don't. Oh, tell you. shots fired! Boo, 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 boo. B squad is in the building. Till next out. time. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Keep watching. Look, I already took mine. Yeah. I think, you know,